okay in the last lecture we saw that how gridded index multimode fibers are better than step index multimode fibers due to the fact that pulse dispersion that is the time delay in different modes reaching the other end is greatly reduced in gridded index fiber and this was due to the reason that the refractive index of core of gridded index fiber varies due to which the speed of the modes covering different optical paths also varies and this variation result in the same time taken by different modes reaching the other end due to which gridded index we experience very less ideally zero but less pulse dispersion now we will try to calculate the expression of time delay in step index multimode fiber because in step index multimode fiber the different modes they reach the other end in different times so as i've told you that information is sent in the optical fiber in the form of pulses large number of pulses sent per unit time and still if we are able to resolve them at the other end we have more transmission capacity of the system a pulse of light but sent into a fiber it broadens in time due to many reasons as it propagates through the fiber here i am taking one kind of dispersion which is known as intermodal dispersion there may be other reasons also but here we are interested only to understand that what is the time delay in different modes traveling with different time so let us see that the rays making larger angle or modes making larger angle with the axis have to traverse larger optical path larger optical paths and and we are taking step index multimode fiber so the velocity speed of different modes is same so they cover so they take different times so the ray which is making larger angle with the axis have to traverse larger optical path and it takes a longer time when the optical path is more they will take longer time to reach the other end other end so we'll see we'll try to see so let us take a, again a fiber with core and clad and it is a step index fiber though the, so the refractive index of core and clad is constant this is a central axis and this is my fiber core n1 clad n2 now with a central axis one mode so we are taking two modes one which is taking maximum time and the other which is taking minimum time so obviously the mode which is traveling along the axis will take minimum time and which travels we have already found the condition for angle of incidence the maximum angle of incidence is for the critical angle so i will take two modes first at critical angle this is i traveling with critical angle 
and one with the minimum time along the axis. So A, I denote this as A, B and C. This is my M and this is my theta as we have done earlier in the derivation of acceptance angle and numerical aperture. Here the my refractive index is N0. Now from triangle A B M we go back A B M okay this is also critical angle so I'm taking one ray it's going from here then again there so from A to C after that it will repeat so I can just take this a part of my ray in triangle ABM sine phi is equal to AM by AB. So what I'm trying, I'm trying to calculate the time. So we'll see how. AB will be equal to AM upon sine phi. Now similarly BC is equal to AM upon sorry mc upon sine phi we can look here a a b is equal to a m a m upon sine phi and b c is equal to m c upon sine phi now now we can take for a ray making angle theta with the axis and phi with core clad interface. So at present I am taking general phi. Later on I will take the maximum core clad interface. The time taken, the time to cover distance AB is, what is AB? AB is AM plus MC. So, that time will be AB plus BC upon C by N1 distance upon speed because the refractive index is N1 and the light is traveling with speed of light so it is modified so I get N1 by C AB plus BC I can write as AM plus MC upon sine phi and this I can write as N1 by C AM plus MC I can write as AC upon sine phi. Now the path AC will repeat itself. The path AC will repeat itself. So time taken by array to traverse length L of the fiber will be T is equal to N1 L by C sine phi. So this is my general expression for time. Equation number 1. Now if the ray 
or mode it moves with critical angle if phi is equal to phi c the time taken is maximum because the angle the maximum angle which is allowed at the incidence which is phi is equal to phi c time taken is maximum so i can write t max is equal to n1 by c l upon sin phi c and we have already calculated in my aperture that sin phi c is equal to n2 by n1 so i can substitute that c n2 by n1 which gives you n2 square because you can check sin phi c is equal to by using sen's law at the second interface core class interface n2 by n1 so t max is equal to n1 square l by c n2 equation number 2 and if the ray moves along the axis it will take minimum time moves along the axis it takes minimum time so t minimum is equal to n1 l by c this is equation number 3 now i can find if all the input rays are sent at the same time but they cover different paths in different times due to pulse dispersion so the time delay at the output and would be delta t t maximum minus t minimum this is equal to n1 square l by c n2 minus n1 l by c by taking n1 l by c common we get n1 by n2 minus this is my delta t expression so this is this much of pulse dispersion takes place in step index multimode fiber so these fibers they are having a huge number of applications but we have to see what kind of fiber we have to use for any particular application and how much how we have to optimize this dispersion the losses which are taking place in the fibers in order to get better output thank you